Hello and welcome everyone. In today's session, we'll see how to enable deduplication to cloud storage all by using Backup Exec. So for today's demo, I have already deployed a Backup Exec server with the name BE and I already have a storage account in place. So if I can show you, this is a brand new deployment of Backup Exec and in order to utilize this feature, you need to be on 21.3. And uh, I already have a storage account with the name Girish SA and in this I already have a container with the name C101 that will be using it shortly. So let's start. The first step in order to create a deduplication to cloud storage is to create a dedupe folder on the local BE server. For that you can go to configure storage and under disk based storage you see I have a deduplication disk storage which I'm going to pick and feel free to give any name you want. I already have a storage, it's 350 gig, which I'm going to use. And uh, you can see over here that uh, you need to create a new login account for deduplication disk storage device. I'm going to go and add click on OK With the account added, let's go and say OK again. And this account I'm going to use to create this dedupe disk storage. I'll leave the, these to the default as of right now. You can always uh, change concurrent operations you want. You get a brief summary of the selections you have made and let's click on finish. Now, while this is getting created, let me just go back to my drawing over here. So the idea behind this is that uh, a lot of customers, especially in the SMB space, they want to use cloud as their maybe a duplicate storage or maybe even a primary storage. But the problem what happens is that uh, as you move the data to the cloud, if you don't keep a track of this uh, storage, at the end of the month, you can get a surprise, right? Because you have to pay. These are all monthly costs you have to pay. So with this deduplication cloud storage, it will make sure that you're only sending the change blocks. You're not sending empty blocks within that file. So you'll save on the cloud storage in the long run. So that's going to be benefit number one. So save on cloud storage. That's number one reason why we are doing this. And the other thing is that uh, uh, putting the data in, in any cloud, there is no cost, but when you're pulling the data, out from that uh, storage account, there is a cost associated. What this will do is that because we are only pulling the data, which is uh, not the empty uh, blocks within that file, it will make sure that uh, you are not pulling the, uh, the data which is not required. So only the data that you require for restoring purposes. So it will help you to reduce the egress cost. So that's going to be benefit number two and obviously, uh, you know, uh, every admin has to work with a backup window. This will make sure that uh, only the data or the change blocks are only uh, transferred to the destination. So that will also reduce your backup windows. That's the whole idea behind this D2 cloud storage. So let's go back uh, to see if we have configured this and it's saying that you need to restart the service. So yes, I want to restart the service to bring this D2 storage online. So you can see that our dedupe storage is online. So step number one is done. Now we're going to enable deduplication on our cloud storage. So let's go and click on the cloud storage. And this is the difference from the previous release. You can see that I have this option of enabling deduplication to cloud storage. 
I'm going to check this box and I'm also going to enable the encryption. And for the encryption key, I've already created one with the name key one. If you want to add a key, you can just go and add key and click on new. For this, I'm going to use 256-bit AES PBKDF2 and uh, you need to provide a passphrase here. Make sure that the passphrase is of 16 character. It shows over here uh, for 256-bit encryption. So I already have that in place, which I'm going to use and say, okay. And let's go and click on next. In my case, it is an Azure storage, but if you're using maybe AWS or even Google S3 bucket, uh, you can use the same steps. Let's go and click on next. And for the cloud storage account, I'll be using Azure and for the system login account, I need to go and click on add and let's add again. And it is asking for the username and the password, which I'll get from my Azure portal. So if you can go to my storage account, under security and networking, I have the access keys. And uh, this is the username, which is my storage account, which I'm going to copy. And the password is the key. You can use either key one or key two. So let's go and show key and copy this. Let's click on OK. It's adding the logon account. Let's go next. And as I said that this is a container which is already in place. So let me just go back and show you. So this is my storage account with the name Girish SA. And in this, I already have the container which I showed you, right, under data storage. So C101, and that is what you see on the backup exec site. So let's pick that and click on next. You can always change the concurrent operation. And this is a summary of my cloud dedupe storage. Let's click on finish. And now it is creating my or enabling my deduplication on the cloud storage. Yes, it's asking for the restarting the service, which is normal. So you can see also my cloud storage is in online state. And now I can utilize the storage to send the deduplicated or the change block to my cloud storage. So if I can show you, I have a, a server I can send the data straight to the cloud storage or I can create a duplicate copy in the cloud. Either of them will work. And again, the idea here is that you are not sending the whole stream, only the change blocks are sent so that you save on the cloud storage cost. And also when you're restoring the data, it's only the data that you need, only the files that you need, not the empty blocks within that file. So this was a quick video on how to enable deduplication to cloud all by using backup exec 21.3. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.